Does that mean we're on? We're good to go. We're on. Hello, legends and legendettes. Welcome to another Google Hangout session. Uh, I'm George Bailey, joined here today by Glenn Maxwell. Hello, George. How are you going? Don't go on about it, mate. It's all about me. Um, thanks for all your questions that have been coming in all afternoon. We've had a pretty busy day here in Sydney, um, and we're looking forward to running through a few very interesting questions. Very that, interesting. That the, uh, the, the punters have thrown at us. So here we go, coming at you like Cle Cleopatra. What do you got for me? I'll start with uh, a few questions. This is from Tene. Uh, which is your favourite movie? Hashtag Ask Fables. My favourite movie is, and this is just between you and I, Tene, because this isn't um, particularly masculine, but um, I have a soft spot for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <coughs> and, yeah, we'll, we'll move along. It's a bit of cross-dressing and singing. It's pretty cool. Uh, good stuff. Uh, which Aussie cricketer would you consider to be the most intelligent? <coughs> Liam, Liam, Liam. Thank you. Well, it's not... Intelligence isn't really synonymous with Australian Please. cricketers. Uh, Ed Cowan's pretty smart. Yep. And I reckon Chris Rogers is pretty smart. So it's maybe something to do with the opening batsman. Does a lot of crosswords too. Yeah, crosswords. But Ben Hilfenhaus does a lot of crosswords and well I wouldn't say that he's really smart. He's good with numbers, but he does crosswords. Maybe that's just Sudoku. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're not very smart. We ain't. No. Uh, this is from Val. Uh, are you guys both aiming to get back into the test squad for the tour of the UAE? Oh that's for both of us. You go first. Well, I am if you are. Yeah, well, yeah. I think we should both try. Yeah, I'm only doing it if Max is doing it. Yeah, that's, we how, do we, we that's do how we roll. Kings eleven. That's what. That's how we roll. Yeah, you get one, you get both. Exactly right. We come as a package deal. Do I get to ask any questions? Uh, we're just going to do it fine. Because is this all about you? Is this, you said it's all about you, so I want to ask you questions. Well, your big Joe Joe Compton here has asked you, if possible, Glenn, would you play in America? I assume he's talking about cricket. Yeah. I'd like to play baseball in America. I reckon I've got a good swing for baseball. Do you have a good baseball swing? <laughs> Having uh, said that, if there's a New York cricket team who would like us, once again, as a as a pair, we, we're in. Yep. The New York Yorkers. That's pretty good, that. <laughs> We'd be known as the Toe Crashers. Yep. Uh, yes, uh, Joe, I'd love to play in America, and hopefully there is a league. There's a lot of talk uh, in Australia that there's going to be a, a league in America stay at some stage, but... Nothing has really happened. Joe could be the owner of that. He could be. I hope so. Get in touch, Joe, if you like. Yeah. We're in. Yep. Yeah. Um, Glenn, is there any particular reason that you have 32 on your back? Uh, not really. I got, that was my first number given to me at Victoria uh, in my debut, I think, of about six years ago. So I uh, realised that no one really has that number in, in Australian cricket and no one really has it around the world. So I thought I could make 32 my own and hopefully... There's some kids running around with 32 on there. Are they? Maxwell. Everywhere. Maxwell in India. Take care. Uh, Nikhil asks, Maxi? Oh, <laughs> this is a bad question because he's going to answer me. Maxi, you've played under a few captains now. Uh, who was the best one? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right, I've played under a few good ones. <laughs> uh, well, George, I seem to have played under... Some successful teams. I think Kings Eleven. We had a lot of success at some success. Yes. Yes. Um, Have you learnt anything from your captains? I think patience and calmness. I think I think you make me a more relaxed cricketer. I think I get anxious a lot of the time. I think you calm me down really well. I think that's why we work so well together. That's why we're a package deal. I think. I think you bring the best out of me, and I bring the best out of your golf. I bring the Zen-like qualities. Maxi hit sixes and fours. Uh, I've got a bad question here, which I think's come from Cricket Australia, because I can't imagine that anyone out there is going to ask this. Who is the best bowler you've faced? I'm not even asking that. So I'm just going to go to one of my questions. Okay. Run me through the beard, mate. It's awesome. Oh, so the beard oh, started growing by laziness in, um, <laughs> in England and the lack of a socket to put my electric shaver in. Yeah. So um, I'm not a big fan of razors because I just cut my face to pieces. Yeah. Um, so I just thought I'd just keep growing it. So, so thick. I oh know. The growth is incredible. So if you get oh, real nice and close, the coverage is very even. Yeah, and, and I don't know if you get 
But if you can just, it's soft. Is it true you shampooed every day? And conditioned, really. Yeah. I decided to move to the combo now. Yeah. Uh, not the two in one, but like you do the shampoo first and the conditioner over the top. And beautiful. And maybe just a little bit of a rinse afterwards. I hope you can appreciate that at home. It is a beautiful, beautiful beard with just the right amount of ginger. Yep. Yeah. There's a little bit on the chin. Yeah, we've all got it. We've all got it. Uh, I'm going to go back to a question for you. And I don't know. Um, George, I'm actually looking forward to this one because I want you to elaborate a little bit on your favourite sport. Uh, other than cricket, what is your favourite sport to play from Sarah? And who is your biggest inspiration in other sport? That's from me. Um, well, my favourite other sport is table tennis, um, which I think it's, it's the chess of the sports world. I think it brings the mental skills, the technical skills, the physicality, uh, it's it's all encompassing. I, yeah. don't, I don't think there's a a better sport. I mean, a sporting highlight in table just tennis. given the profile of the sport. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Yeah, huge. What about your biggest highlight in table tennis? Like, you've obviously I know you've got a few. I know the um you know, the nights that we've had in Leeds. I think where we played like 13 setters and yeah the uh, the World Cup that we played in uh, yeah what was that. Yeah, it was uh, Kartik. Kartik, yeah. the Kartik World Cup. All, all great moments, all um, great moments. But I think the highlight, um, which a lot of people won't know, Glenn, but um, uh, I was adopted um, at, at a very young age by Mongolians, um, brought up in a very strong table tennis community uh, and actually won uh, a tournament when I was 17, um, which 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 got me got me out of there, got me under the table tennis circuit um, and somehow along the way I got stumbled into cricket and uh, discovered beautiful Tasmania and ended up living there. But table tennis in Mongolia was my was my ticket ticket to life. Do you reckon after cricket's finished that we could like go as a package deal as a table tennis team to maybe New York? Maybe we could play for the New York Yorkers in the table tennis? Absolutely. Or the New York Bats? The ba yes. I hate bats. <laughs> it's a scary animal. Actually, that's a question. That's a good question. That le that's a good segue into one of the questions I have for you. Oh, Glenn, really? Which for both of us, which one of you likes turtles the most? It's pretty Ooh. random. Who came up with that? James Fenn. All right. I want you to say a number between one and ten, and we'll do it. Okay. Count of three. One, one two, three. three. Medium rare. <laughs> I was going to say six, but <laughs> which What's is the difference between a turtle and a tortoise? Oh, jeez. I actually did know this. Who was your favourite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Donatello. Was he? Yeah. That's pretty random. Yeah. Why? I don't know. He just seemed cool to me. He had the stick. Yeah. Not many people run around with a stick. Nah. I, as a kid, I used to run around with a stick a lot, but I used to like trying to hit a tennis ball. You still run around with a stick. Yeah. That's where you get paid to do. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's good. Stick. Let's give you a... Go Donatello. He was the artist too, wasn't he? All right. This, this is controversial. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you reckon is the best singer between us? Oh, you. You actually... And not afraid to, to bust it out. Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon... I do actually a lot of good Avril Lavigne songs. Mm. I actually win Sing Star on Avril Lavigne mm -hmm. a lot against like female friends. Yeah. Which is not a, not a thing you should be bragging about, but I am. I didn't know Sing Star was still a thing. I think it is. I've actually received some Snapchats of Glenn just singing um, because he can and he's quite good at it. Yeah. Well. You know, I used to do Sing Star. I used to do Robbie Williams, Let Me Entertain You, yeah. and I could only get a good score if I was doing it in my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> if I was closed, I was hopeless. I think we should, um, I think we should do a little video. Have that. a crack at it. I think we should do a video. Um, George, I actually want to know the answer to this as well. Uh, you don't seem like a person who gets easily annoyed, but is there anything that really irritates you? Cats. No time for cats. Uh, I get very frustrated at airports at the moment. Indian airports? No, well, yeah, but it's just just the business of them. Seems difficult to get through security. Having to show your pass again when you get onto the plane, and you know they say your seats fall down on the air, like it says. It's just little things, but not really. Try not to get too annoyed, Glenn, because you are a very happy person. Life's pretty good, you know. Yeah, you could be doing worse things with it. Absolutely. Life. Good meal of turtle. And you, uh, <laughs> Ash asks, Glenn. Yeah. Uh, well, 
what are the three, besides our friendship, what are the three things in your life that are most important <laughs> to you? Three things that are most important to me. Uh, well, the first one's obviously family. Uh, the second one's enjoyment, because if you're not enjoying your life, what's, what's the point? Come up with three proper things. Golf. Yeah, okay. All three. So golf clubs, let's say golf clubs. Golf clubs, playing golf, going to drive range. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They're the three most important things. And maybe... Maybe a drink after a win. That's that's probably one of the most important. Bit things. of town time with yeah, friends. Yeah, I think yeah. I think after you win a game, I think the feeling of celebrating with your mate and a drink in hand, and just looking into each other's eyes and not getting too emotional, but just going, "How good was that?" And not looking too deep. Yeah, yeah no, no, just like a quick. <laughs> for those who don't know, Glenn actually likes to prepare for for day night games with a little round of golf in the morning. So when you see him clearing the pickets later that evening, you know that he's probably. Um, yeah, holes deep. Probably, yeah, probably three or four over the, that morning. Yeah, some nice golf. Um, who is the funniest player in the Australian team, and what's the best joke you've heard? Tough question. Like is, this, is there a funny clean joke? Has well, anyone ever told a funny clean joke? Yeah, no, I don't think so. No, not for not for Google Hangout time. No. There's, there's been some good jokes. I think uh, Aaron Finch told a good... No, sorry. Sean Marsh told one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard, but because he stuffed it up, yeah, he did and too. because he kept going, he didn't realise we were all laughing... At, at him. At him. Not, he thought we were not, laughing with him. Not with him. <laughs> it was one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard. There's something about an Italian, a Frenchman, and... He's getting his accents mixed up. Yeah, he got his accents mixed Brilliant. up. Brilliant. So it was, that was inadvertent humour. What was it the Frenchman said, Mamma mia. So is Finchy the funniest man in the team? I think so, yeah. He's pretty funny. He's pretty funny. I find James Pattinson very amusing too. Yeah. But once again, I'm not sure if I'm laughing with him or at him. Yeah. But he's, he's a funny man. Yeah. Finchy's pretty funny. Let's see if I've got anything more. Uh, ooh, this is a serious question. Very serious. How can you tell? Kumas, Kumas saying you can't, I almost got to say Kumasana then. <laughs> Blast from the past. Kim Masanga Kara just hit his 10th double century. Uh, now, only two behind the great Donald Brennan. Where does he rate against the modern greats? He's pretty great. He is pretty great. He's, he's a very good player. Very yeah. aesthetically pleasing on the eye. He's beautiful to watch. He's a beautiful man. He's a beautiful man. Um, he's up there. I don't know if I'm qualified to be able to say he's, you know, he's better than so-and-so, but I think his record speaks for itself. Ten double hundred, that's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, yeah, particularly for us. We can't concentrate for longer than 20 minutes. <laughs> so he's obviously batting for a long time. That's a pretty extraordinary effort. They're going to be very hard to beat in the World Cup yeah. in, in February when it comes out to Australia. Sri Lanka, I think they'll be one of the favourites. Yeah. With him um, leading the charge. Should be pretty cool. Though. We'll be ready. We'll be ready. Come on, Kumar. Bring it on. Yeah. Uh, last question from me, Glenn. What was your best moment personally from last summer? So many. So How to choose one? So many. Uh, Christmas. Christmas was pretty good. Yeah. I shot a two over at one stage. That was pretty good. Yeah. Eight miles. That is good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, local course, Beacon Hills. Small play. Played pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, best moment, I think, was James Fortner's 60 at the Gabba. That was awesome. That was, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's about right. What was your favourite moment of the summer? Winning the Ashes was pretty cool. Yeah. Not going to lie to you there. What about getting sledged by Jimmy Urson when you were at that pad? Was that pretty cool? Um, not really. <laughs> but I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he was on about. Englishman. Bit weird. Yeah. Um, that's all we got. Thanks for your questions. Yeah, they're pretty cool, though. Everybody, I don't know. I'm just looking through here to see if there's any. Oh, hold on a sec. Last question for you, George. Right, if you could good. be another current Australian cricketer for a day, who would it be and why? That is a very, very good question. I would be. It could be anybody. Any any Australian cricketer. Any Australian cricketer. Yeah, that's right. Current Australian cricketer. Current Australian yeah, cricketer. You can't be RTP. It's pretty cool. He shoots good goal scores. Um, I'd like to be Watto, because then I'd get to play with his son. And his son's pretty cool. His son's pretty cool. Yeah. He's pretty cute. I'm a bit clucky. So that's probably... 
Yeah. And I'd be massive. Yeah. Good pipes on me. Um, yeah. Get the ball miles. Yeah. It'd be good fun to be everyone for a day. Yeah. Mix it up. David Warner, that'd be interesting. I wonder what I'd like over oh, the beer. Mm, maybe not. That's a bit weird. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure. Hope you have a good winter. <laughs> we'll see you over the summer. <laughs> yes. Go Australia. Go Australia. See ya. Stopping the broadcast. <laughs>